Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a spigot server. To start off with, go to getspigot.org and press getspigot 1.8 or whatever version it is. And then save the file to your downloads area or wherever else you want it. And now you can see the file is still downloading, so I'm just going to wait until it finishes. Now that it has finished, make a new folder where you'll have your spigot server out and call it a spigot server or whatever else you want to call it. Then drag and drop the spigot file which you have downloaded into the folder. Then um, rename the spigot file to just spigot. So have, have it called spigot. And open up notepad. And Copy and paste the command in which is in the description. And this should be um, the back command which you can use to run your server. And if you want to change the amount of RAM on your server, just replace the 2G with 3 or 4 or 5 or whatever amount of gigabytes you want. I'm just going to change it to 1, both of them. Then press file and press save as. Then um, go to your spigot server folder and change the save as type to all files. Then for the file name, call it run.bat and press save. Then you can close notepad and if you run the, the run file then it should start making a few more folders. Now the server should close itself and it has made three new things. So open up the EULA file, then change your false to true and go to file and press save. Then run the run file again and it should make a whole bunch of new files and folders. Now you can see that it's making spawn area so I'm just going to wait until that finishes. Now once it's done type stop into the terminal and press enter and now it should close your server and then you can change the settings and server properties and stuff. If you want to know how you can port forward your server there should be a card on the screen linking to another video which I've made on how to make a normal Minecraft server and port forward it and that should help you so yeah. So now you should have a spigot server and if I open up Minecraft. Now that I have Minecraft open I can connect to my local server which is localhost. But first I need to run my server so I'm going to run it and after it finishes preparing the spawn area I can join. Now if I refresh, there should be my server and the play count and stuff. Now I can join my server and do stuff and there should be some spigot commands. So I think there's a command called version. And you can see that it says the server's running crafted buckets, version gets bigots, whatever, and you're one version behind. So that's it guys, if you want to know how you can download plugins there should be a video annotated on the screen right now. And have fun on your spigot server and thanks for watching. If you found this video useful leave a like and subscribe and yeah.